This is one of the two times this year that you can pick up your Spirit of Eshiro, Spirit of Ekio, Ekiro, your Spirit Moose. It's only available twice a year for two weeks each time. And the time gate just opened, the time window that you can get this just opened as of today on August 7th. 2024. If you're watching this after August 7th, go ahead and take a look in the description. I do have a link to someone who figured out all the dates that are, this is going to be available for farming. If you're interested in picking this up, you do have to have archaeology. No worries. You actually don't have to have any points in it to be able to get this mount. I'll show you exactly how to do it. First of all, if you do have access to a druid, this make it a little bit faster. If you don't, no worries. You can do this on any character. But what we do have to do, if you are doing a druid, I do suggest turning off skywriting. So just go to your spell book and search for flight. This is where we can change our flying style. This will be right here at the end. You want to drag that out to your bar somewhere. Go ahead and click it. Now you should be able to just fly around like normal. Next, we're going to head on over to the Legion expansion. So we're going to pick up our toy box and then look for your dollar on Hearthstone. If you get the error message that says you can't do this, head over to the command board and look for a blink of an eye. Then head over to the archaeology trainer. You do have to train all different forms of archaeology to finally get access to Legion. I'll leave you the coordinates in the description. This is going to be the Legion version of Dalaran. Make sure you're headed there. Again, you can use your Hearthstone or just grab that quest if you don't have access to the Hearthstone. Make sure you train all the different kinds and eventually we will get access to Legion once we learn everything before it. There we go. Now that you learned all of them, you notice that you do have a new quest called the Right Path. Accept this quest and it's gonna take you over to High Mountain. Turn in the quest to Lessa and then you're gonna see a bunch of different shovels come up on your map. You're just gonna head over to each one. These are gonna be your surveying sites. Head over there and then Go ahead and put survey somewhere on your bar. Um, you can put it anywhere. Just you're going to want it easily accessible. It's going to help you just be able to go through this a little faster. And you're going to see this red kind of circle blob looking area on your map. That's going to be the location that you can start using your survey to be able to see which direction you got to go. Basically, the way archaeology works is just like this. If you see a yellow blinking light, that means that you're getting closer. You're not quite there. Um, you're going to see a green light when you're getting a lot closer. And then eventually, once you go to the location that it actually is, you're going to see this right here. It's going to be an icon that appears above your head. And the next time you do survey, you're just going to be able to pick up the item. This is two of 600. This does take a while. So you want to make sure that you just don't feel rushed to do this all at once. You can do this over the two weeks that it's available. Just make slow and steady progress. There's no need to rush this thing down. Because again, you have to pick up 600 of these fragments. And you're only going to get about two to three per pickup. And notice that your dig site is going to shift. So eventually, once you finish it, you're going to need to move to the next dig site that's going to appear on your map. And you're not even guaranteed to always get the fragments each time that you pick up a new dig site. You can see where being a druid is really going to pay off with just being able to instantly jump into flight form and bounce around to try to open these up. Whenever your dig site finishes, just move on to the next one. You'll see it again on the map. They're just gonna appear as shovels. If you're like me, you're looking for something to do in the pre-patch anyway, so this is something you can knock out. And it is time limited, so you get your rare mount. Sorry to any Cataclysm Classic players that are doing this as well. Uh, yet another archeology span grind. All right, everyone, if the video did help you out today, please hurry check the like button. If you want to stay tuned for more WoW content in the future, please bash the subscribe. I appreciate your time, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, everyone.